maybe that's a life lesson guys sometimes you're looking in the wrong direction. I don't know. Good morning, guys. So today I abruptly decided to vlog. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on my errands, dyeing my hair, doing homework. Let's get into it. I just finished my European studies class and a little fun piece of good news. Yesterday, I found out I got a 99.5 out of 100 on the midterm. Literally, I was about to make this class pass no pass. That's how unconfident I felt about knowing the material about the midterm and about the final. But now that I got this score, I literally just have to get a high C or low B on the final to get an A in the class. So usually right now I would do Education 50, but the lecture is not posted yet. So I'm not sure. I don't think we're supposed to have a live class today. It's a little bit weird because it's Thanksgiving week. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to do some Education 40 work because that's completely asynchronous. Oh my gosh, guys, also exciting thing. I ordered some clothes and they were supposed to come on December 2nd, but they're coming today and I'm excited. Oh my God, yay. Literally all that I wear now are mom or boyfriend jeans ever since I discovered those are like the only pants that fit me. Plus they're just like comfortable and cute. It's a vibe. Okay, let's go to our errands. Side note, look at my turkey headband. My car is full of stuff like that. We've got this like tissue paper turtle. Got like my origami dog. We have a lot of errands to get through today. There's a little list. I Look, I just made the sound effect. Who needs sound effects? Not me. First order of business, dropping off the brownie from my best friend. Y'all, I just realized I could get some Subway for lunch. Like, finna cop. I really hope I don't get copyrighted for this song. I don't think I will, but... Here is one of my Christmas masks. I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas this year, but it's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna do it as weeks instead of every day because, oh my God, that would make me stay up way too long. We gotta go to CVS now. All right guys, so um, a change of plans on my hair color. I was going for a rose gold, but they didn't have the one I wanted in the store. I wanted the Garnier one that I, or is that how you say it? I don't know. The one that I saw online, right? They didn't have that in the store. The only one they did have, like when I looked at what the color would look like based on like what shade my hair currently is, it wasn't gonna look rose gold. It was gonna be like brassy brown probably. So I decided to fast forward to my other hair color plans where I've been wanting to make my hair like blue black because that's what I wanted when I was a sophomore and I dyed my hair bright blue. The color I wanted was actually like, like this, a blue black. Hopefully it's not too blue because at work we're not allowed to have unnatural colors. So I'm hoping that it'll just be like black and then when the sun's on it, you can tell it's like blue. Worst comes to worst, I'll just have to go over it with like full send black hair dye. On to our next errand of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys, Loki like ghosted you guys there on my errands. Sorry about that. So yeah, I took care of everything except the donut shop is closed on Mondays. No! Let me show you guys what I got. I got my lunch it's from Subway. Classic Allison Subway sandwich. Except I added spinach this time, guys. I'm gaining some, <laughs> I can't really call it flavor because spinach has like no flavor. I got some muffins, English muffins. And with it, cream cheese, because I've been craving that. I also got some dairy-free yogurt. I got two of them. They're the flavor strawberry by the brand Soap. And then I got what I really went there for, which was the classic Pillsbury cookie dough. I got the Christmas tree one and the snowman one, and I'm very, very hyped. And maybe I'll buy some more if they're still there. I thought they didn't have it and I was so upset, but I just had to turn around. Maybe that's a life lesson, guys. Sometimes, you're looking in the wrong direction. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, it was in this. It was in the display behind me. Ooh, why is my face looking, looking toasty? I'm looking red. All right. So I just ate my lunch and now it is time this fourth. <laughs> it is time to dye my hair. So I want to get some before and after shots. So like the lighting is pretty fire here, so. That was like those TikToks where they're like, this is what I look like when someone calls my name. Okay, I'm gonna take some pictures for a thumbnail so you guys can see it, like before and after. It is hair dyeing time, y'all, so I have brushed out my hair. These 
Hair dye is all on. My dad's girlfriend helped me get the back to make sure there weren't any jarring like brown sections. So now it is 154. Spent like an hour doing that. I'm gonna set the timer for 25 minutes and while it, that is going, I'm just gonna um, clean up because it's very messy in here. Hi guys, so I washed my hair. I will show you guys what it looks like in a little bit. I have to do a call for ASUCI at three so I don't have time to like blow dry right now. I got my clothing order that I thought was gonna come in like a week. So yeah, I will film a try on section of the haul when my hair is dry. So the first piece we have here is this like notch tank top. I've wanted one of these and honestly this notch is not, when I was looking online, it wasn't quite what I wanted. The notch I wanted was more like the Sun one where it's a triangle, but this one is like a circle. It's a size medium. I will tell you guys how I like it in the try on portion, but right now it doesn't look too see-through. We will see though. It is a very, very cute. I like it. I vibe with it. And it's got like a lettuce trim cut at the bottom. The next item is yet another white top. For so long, I've said that I hate turtlenecks, but now they're in style and now I'm kind of like, should I, should I get one? So I got one. I got a size large because people were like saying it was really fitted and I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to be like suffocating in my turtleneck. You know what I mean? So I got a size large and it's cropped. So that's going to be cute. And then the neck, People like, I think a lot of times they had it like sort of folded down, which I liked. So I was looking for a neck that could do that. Turtlenecks, they're slowly growing on me because everyone's layering them with stuff. Thoughts on the turtleneck. It is soft, which is a vibe. It's a little bit see-through, which is not as much of a vibe, but it's okay because usually I'm going to be wearing like a crew neck over it or a jacket or something. So it's fine because this was mostly just a layering piece. Like at the bare minimum, I'm going to be wearing like a t-shirt over it. But the cropping is very short, which is why I got a large. So if you guys are like me, you might want to <laughs> might want to get a large or up. It's cute. I'm going to have to see how it looks with a crew neck. Honestly, this all just looks really cute with my hair. I'm just covering like all the really basic pieces first and then I will cover the more interesting ones. I honestly only got like one piece that's interesting. The next item is just a simple racerback tank top. It's kind of yellow looking at it. It's not white. It's supposed to be white. This I got in a size medium as well. I always figure it's better to size up than you know, have it be too small. Cause this looks like it'll be my size. Okay, next one up, which looks fire with my all dark hair. It's cute, it's comfy, fits me great. So if you guys are similar body shape to me, I got a size medium. It looks really cute and I'm excited to wear this top. This one I'm excited for. Cause you know, everybody's been wearing these, the like ruched sort of tank tops or the ones that are sort of like, I'll just show you what I mean. This one. So I got this in the color black and I got it in a size large. It is cute, it fits me. This strap, I feel like it's gonna fall down my shoulder a little bit. So I'm gonna have to like adjust it. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Maybe I could have been a medium and that way it would have been tight enough that the straps wouldn't fall down. But honestly, it is cute and it is a vibe and it goes with my hair. Literally all of these go with my hair so well. Next item we have is one of those basic cardigans. So you guys know I got the really cute, long, soft American Eagle one. Well, I figured I should also get a shorter cardigan because you know, sometimes it's not practical to wear a really long cardigan all the time. Classic, the little tie-up one. So it's, oh, there, there's the strings. So this looks, oh, this is a nice fabric. It feels sturdy and like the stitching looks good. This I got in a size medium. Thoughts on this. What is this? Like I got a medium because people are saying they were having trouble with like getting it to fit around so they could tie it. Um, and yeah, I gotta say like, <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you? Oh, okay, that there we go. Now it's a little bit better because I adjusted it. I like the cardigan. It's cute. I think it'd probably be better untied for me though because like tied, it's not really a vibe, but then you got the like ties just hanging there. And the last item I got, I'm really excited. I'm gonna wear this on like Christmas break. It is this jacket. I really hope it works. I really hope it's cute. It's soft. Okay, I already have like some Teddy jackets. You know what I mean? I've got like two of them, but this one, actually I didn't expect the fabric to be like this. I thought it was gonna be more corduroy kind of or like solid but it's actually really soft, oh my god. Okay, so I wanted those flannels with the hood, but then I realized eh, it's kind of thin. Instead, I found this when I was looking for those. I got it in a size medium again. And then it's just got this like brown and white checkered pattern. It feels like the one I got from Ross, that sort of like quality level. I don't know where the one from Ross was from though. I thought it was gonna be like harder, like not as soft and like flexible of a fabric. Honestly, kind of wish it was a sturdier fabric though. That's the word, sturdier. Interesting thing, the way that this part is connected, 
is not fun because if I lift my arms, it like comes with it. Like it needs more give between the arm and this. I don't know why they're sewn so tightly together. Now it's a little bit more bearable when it's open. I think it's just probably because it was zipped together, but really jackets should be made so that they could be zipped together and still not really have this whole scenario going on. Hi guys, it's editing Allison here because I was a bad vlogger this day. So basically what happened here was I just blow dried my hair a little bit and so I wanted to show you guys what it was currently looking like at that moment, so yeah. Okay, but like it's kind of rainbow where I missed the spots. Anyway. Um, I feel very powerful. It's weird to have my hair be all dark again. <laughs> um, but yeah, some spots are kind of a rainbow where I like missed some parts. And I think it's probably gonna fade out to be kind of greenish, so I'm gonna have to re-dye it. But wow, it's not completely dry. I did a little bit of blow drying because I didn't want it to get all my clothes. Hi guys, it's editing Allison yet again because I forgot to tell you guys what was going on again. Basically what I did was I had this one-on-one -on -one FaceTime call with another ASUCI member because they were trying to encourage, you know, bonding. So did that. And yeah, let's carry on with the vlog. Why am I such a bad vlogger? I forgot to vlog anything during that. I don't know why my hair is looking kind of dead. It shouldn't be looking dead when I went darker. <laughs> it's not like I bleached it or anything. So I don't know why it's looking kind of dead, but I'm definitely gonna get another box of dye in the next couple days. And then I'll just go over, like you see these like random brown spots. I mean, they kind of look cool sometimes, but not all the time and I kind of want it to be uniform, you know? I think it depends on the lighting. It's weird. It's weird to see me with dark hair again. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Okay, so I just put some coconut oil in my hair because it was looking like crusty and dead. So now it looks a little bit more alive. Maybe the next time I buy the dye for Wednesday, I'll buy one that's a little bit brighter of a blue because this is very black. Like I'm not seeing as much blue in it. Otherwise, honestly, if I still got the same color though, that'd be fine. So, you know, it's a win-win. I promise this is the last one. Hi guys, editing Allison here. This is me doing my singing lesson for the night. If Ariana Grande, please do not copyright me. I'm avoiding every mistletoe until I know it's true love that he thinks of. Wow, high quality burger shot. Jeopardy. So I was wrong, that wasn't the last one. Um, but uh, basically people in my house were talking when I was trying to end the vlog, so I was like, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it in post so yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog i will go ahead and put some pictures of what my like hair ended up turning out like uh it looks really cute i like it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will talk to you in another one i love you guys so much and i hope you guys have a great thanksgiving and yeah i'll see you at vlogmas let's go bye guys